Today, we're going passwordless with SMS and WhatsApp login. Now, one thing to watch out for is that SMS can be expensive. So if you're using a standard SMS service and you don't have any kind of checks or rate limits, um, there is something that's called um, SMS dumping fraud. Um, so you do want to watch out for this when, when using SMS. Now, with Twilio, there is a specific product for um, SMS login or, you know, OTP uh, login, so to speak. And so um, if you're using this, you know, I can recommend using Twilio Verify because it is um, specifically created for these kind of types of verifications and has kind of um, certain rate limits and filters and, and, and kind of security guards that you can enable um, within Twilio, which is really nice. So let's go ahead and let's create a new um, verification service in Twilio. So we can do this, we can um, go into our uh, console. Here, so I've already created one um, test service here. Let's create a new one. We call it super password less login. And we want to do SMS and we want to do WhatsApp. Great. So here um, you can see enable fraud guard. Um, this is specifically for kind of fraud detection. So yes, I very much recommend doing that. And so now we have our um, service created. And we do have our service ID here. So that is exactly what we'll need in the next step. So we open our project, just be using um, this expo uh, user management starter. Um, there's a video tutorial as well to how to kind of get that set up. So we'll be using um, that here. And then we go to um, phone, we want to enable the phone provider will specifically select um, Twilio Verify here. Again, this is different from Twilio, so Twilio just uses the standard um, Twilio SMS um, API. So Twilio Verify uses the specific um, verification product. And then we need to get our, um, so this is our service ID. Um, copy this one um, over. Uh, copy this one over here, the Twilio Verify service ID. Uh, and then we just need to get our um, standard account um, credentials here. So that's under API keys and auth tokens. And um, we can just take our uh, live credentials. Paste this over here and then just get your key and save that. Okay, so now we get our phone, Twilio Verify all set up. So now we can go ahead and we can implement the um, phone off uh, auth specifically. Um, so what we want is um, OTP uh, without the password. So here, passwordless sign in um, mechanism. So we can do this here. Um, so let's go into our code. We have um, an auth component here. And let's maybe just um, change this. So instead of email, we're going to call this phone phone. Let's see if we have um, a phone icon here. Um, and then we'll just say set phone value is going to be phone um, placeholder. Uh, I'll just uh, this is kind of the Singapore um, format. And then we'll call this one OTP. Um, yeah, we can keep the lock. We'll say set. Yeah, password is still we can we can keep that password. 
uh, because it's one time um, password. Uh, and then we'll need to, we want to change this to send OTP. And this one will call verify OTP. Okay, so now we just need to uh, change a couple things here. So this one is phone and set phone. We kept the password and then this one will be send OTP. And so now rather than um, we can uh, copy this here. Um, no, this is actually data. And then what we can do is we can maybe console log out that data, see what happens there. And then this one will just pass in the phone. Great. Um, and so this one then will be our um, verify OTP. Uh, and so here, um, this is our um, verify OTP. And there we need to um, uh, again, this would be data and session. Uh, don't worry, I'll, I'll update the docs. Um, we'll pass in the phone, the token will be the uh, password, and then type SMS. Okay, and so now we should be ready to go. Put in my phone number here. Send myself the OTP. One five nine one seven four. One five nine one seven four. Now we verify the OTP, and now you can see that we're locked in, and we can say phone guy tester test update. Um, and so now if we go into our um, profiles, uh, we can see now we have the phone guy here. Um, and so that that is all working as expected. So one thing though, to call out is as you saw, you know, ideally, we want to allow auto filling. Um, of the password. So the input should actually not be secure text entry. Um, I think if we do that, this is Yeah. So by making that um, a text field, what we can do now is um, plus. So if we now say send OTP, um, we get this feature where we can just paste that in uh, and verify. So um, that is that is quite nice on on iOS that we can just uh, don't need to copy paste and we can just uh, have that working out of the box. Um, perfect. So now let's switch this over to WhatsApp. So in order to use WhatsApp, um, it's actually pretty, pretty neat. We really just need to uh, add the options here. And there is a channel option. And that has um, a WhatsApp. And so now, when we sign out, and say send OTP, um, rather than getting you can now see, we get um, the WhatsApp uh, notification 936745. So 936745. Yeah, I guess the only downside there is that um, we don't get the um, sort of autocomplete 
from from iOS that that doesn't work on the um, on the WhatsApp. But I think pricing wise, uh, I'm actually not entirely sure you you probably should look that up. Uh, it might be quite similar. But yeah, so that is pretty pretty much how you can um, get your passwordless login, which especially you know in mobile applications. So here I'm using it in my um, Expo, um, you know React Native application uh, is quite useful. Uh, but obviously you can use it kind of in any um, scenario. And the great thing is um, you can actually also do. Um, OTP, I think it's under magic link. Uh, you can use OTPs with um, emails as well. So um, what you need to do is just update the um, magic link template. Uh, so here in the uh, auth settings, uh, providers, uh, no, actually email templates, uh, magic link, uh, you can see here, um, you can modify this instead of the confirmation URL to have um, a token. And then the email will have the token and um, you can then again use the uh, verify OTP method to, to verify that and get a session. There you have it. This is how you can implement passwordless sign-in with SMS, WhatsApp, or even email. Um, let us know what else you want to learn about and see you next time.